Hey everybody, guess what? It's trash day in the neighborhood. We just got this Toro Ultra Blower Vac with a metal impeller. All right. We have no idea if it works. You're going to find out with us. So we got the cord plugged in and here we go. We're plugged in. Oh, and it also came with the, the sucker attachment. And the bag. Let's see if it works. Oh, denied. Denied. But you know, the switch feels a little funky. Maybe, maybe the switch is bad. Maybe where we have it plugged in, we have it plugged into the camper. So let's replug it into something else. We'll come right back and see if it works or not. Well, unfortunately, we checked power. We have power going to the Toro blower, and it looks like it doesn't work. The switch feels a little funky. We're going to take this bad boy apart and see if we can figure out what's going on with it. Okay, well, I've been futzing with it, and I had it on its side. I think the problem is there is a safety switch right here to make sure that this is plugged in. I think the safety switch, the safety switch went bad. The safety switch has gone bad. I think um, because that's what I was wiggling around with. Here, let's take this back off. We'll be very careful. Well, I thought it was the safety switch. Could it be the cord? Well, you heard it. It was working, so the motor is working. There is something else wrong. Either the main switch is bad. Go again. It's like a ghost. Hmm, very interesting. When I start tapping on it, you can see that the fan wants to work. I wonder if one of the wires to the switch isn't making good contact. It's weird, once you put it in a certain position, it wants to start working. We're going to take and unplug this thing and take the screws out and we're going to see if it's got a bad wire in it. So let me start getting the screws out of it and we'll come back. So I got all the screws out and I took the one side off. So here we go. You've got your metal fan. You've got your AC motor and then down here is that safety switch so what I did first is I checked to make sure that we had neutral here and then we had the con the hot here that's right black is hot white is neutral so I had power coming in from the cord to here and up to the switch now the safety switch I went ahead and looked at the way it was wired when you push the switch this wire makes continuity here and the other side makes continuity. So I put my meter on ohms and checked it. This switch is good. So that we know that switch is good. 
So up here that leaves this switch. But what I've noticed is when you plug it in and there is a there is a transistor in here that must be they must be using this transistor this power transistor as part of the the variable speed control. When you beat on that, it starts to work. So I do believe this is bad, which is part of the main switch. So we need a whole main switch. Um, let me get my assistant over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I went ahead and put the tube back on and this piece in here to hold this switch. And I already tested that switch. That switch is good. Thinking that there's a problem with this power... Thinking there might be a problem... thinking there's a problem with that transistor or the switch because sometimes you can twist the switch around or there's a broken wire that almost feels like it I think it's the switch. I think there's something wrong. I do believe there's something wrong inside the switch. Ah, oh, there we go. See? If I just wiggle it back and forth. Yeah. That's what's wrong with this thing. Let me unplug it so nobody gets shocked. There is something wrong inside the switch. So we'll go on to the internet and see if we can get ourselves a switch for it. But I do believe that the switch is the problem. You rock the handle back and forth and it's bad. So with a little cheap multimeter to check where the power is going, and I had power coming in and I checked that switch so I knew that switch was good. We need a new switch. So let's get on the internet. We'll see if we can get a switch and we'll fix this one up. This will be great to blow the bays out at work. All right, everybody. Uh, I think we're gonna end it right here. I'll take and make a follow-up video once we get a new switch, if we can even get a new switch. So just remember everybody, you can always subscribe right in that corner. Please ring that bell so you always get my new videos. And please share. All right, bonus footage, bonus footage. This is a Toro 51609 blower. And it has a variable speed switch on it. They don't make the switch. So basically, this thing's trash. So they don't make a switch to replace this, the defective switch. I went on the internet. There's a lot of people complaining about, oh, the blower. I would love the blower. The blower worked good. The switch went bad. I even, I have somebody in there saying, I even called Toro. They say they're not going to make the switch for them. So this thing is basically junk. We'll pull the motor out. We'll send it to the metal yard for uh, to be recycled. So unfortunately, the Toro ultra blower was a fail. All right, everybody, there's your bonus footage. We'll talk to you all later.